Hey y'all, welcome back. It is day eight. Tonight we are making um rose salve. So you're gonna need that rose oil that you made yesterday or whenever you made it. You're gonna need some beeswax, you're gonna need some geranium oil, and you're gonna need some tin little like um cans to house all of this stuff. The first thing that I'm doing is going ahead and <clears throat> putting a decent amount of drops of that geranium oil into the tin cans. You can use um, rose essential oil. I like the, the way that geranium smells a little bit better. Um, both are expensive as hell, so the pricing doesn't really matter. So, go ahead and take a couple drops, well, a good amount of drops of those. I put like 20, 25 in each. And then set those to the side. Now, I'm going in with my um rose oil. I don't strain mine. You can strain it if you want, but I never do. I did six or seven tablespoons of it. I don't remember which one. But do you some several, I'll say several tablespoons of the rose oil. And then you're going to go ahead and add in um, that beeswax. So go ahead and melt that down in your double boiler. And I'm going to just go ahead and let this melt down. You want to see me get a, give it a couple of stars. Um, rose salve is good for whatever. You can put it on your lips, you can put it on your elbows, you can put it on your heels. Um, it's a salve. So, that's what it is. I went ahead and added in a few, um, chips of rose hip. Um, just to enhance that smell. This stuff smells delicious, you guys, seriously. Um, so I'm just going ahead and mixing all of that in. Um, I actually keep some rose salve in my purse just for just whatever, um, I put it on when I get just feel dry. Um, I put it on my pregnant belly as well. And plus it just smells fucking good. Like it just smells good. So going ahead and melting all of this down. I really have to excuse me. I'm not feeling the best tonight while I'm doing this voiceover. But I wanted to get it done because I wanted to get this video out for you guys. Um, so anyhow, just starting that, making sure everything is melted down together. I'm going to turn off my heat and take my glass bowl out of the pot. And then I'm going to go ahead and arrange those tin cans so that I can pour so that I can pour the oil. I mean pour my um beeswax mixture, my hot mixture over those essential oils in that can. So I'm just going ahead and doing that. And then you're gonna see me take this fork that I use just a throwaway fork um and I'm gonna go ahead and add the rose hip um chips to the oils in the tank hand this just gives it an extra kick a little razzle dazzle if you will so I'm just going ahead and adding that in and then you're gonna see me um cap it off this is one that you don't have to let dry without the lid you can let go ahead and let it solidify with the lid in there and I like to do that because again it smells so good what is that my third time saying this so I'm just going ahead and capping all of them off and then in a second I'm gonna show you a clip of what it looks like when it is finished drying and when it is nice and solid Again, you can use rose salve on literally everything. Salve is so good. Like, sometimes I'll put it on my heels. 
and then put on fluffy socks. My heels is feeling a little, feeling a little, 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 little reptile I'll go ahead and do it that way. But this is the end of the video. Nice, quick, and simple. And I will see you guys tomorrow.